This episode is brought to you by Lone Wolf Paintball. They are an amazing online supplier and have been around since the beginning of the game as Michigan's premier paintball field and paintball supplier since 1987. They are rapidly expanding into the online retail space and supplying everything you need to be the best paintball player you can be. They have got it all. Head over to lonewolfpaintball.com and shop all of your favorite brands. And they also boast amazing customer service and will have this out to you with same day shipping, which is amazing. It's always nice to know that your stuff is on its way immediately so you can start to use it that very next week in a play. Check out their YouTube, Lone Wolf Paintball, and their Instagram, at Lone Wolf PB, and stay up to date with all of their deals and sales. Play the Game Podcast is immensely honored to have them on board, and we cannot wait for you guys to check out LoneWolfPaintball.com and become a part of their community. Thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for the tremendous support with the PTG Show. If you are enjoying these episodes and want to help with the progress and development of this program and connect with like-minded, hungry paintball players, then head on over to ptgpodcast.com, click the orange Patreon link, and become a member of the PTG World Discord chat room. And now back to the show. This episode of PTG Podcast is brought to you by the new HK Army UV Glow Charging Sonic Loader and HK Army Glow in the Dark Paintballs. Everybody, it is time to light up the night sky with one of the most exciting paintball experiences you will ever have. There are seven integrated UV LED lights in the new UV Glow Charging Sonic Loader that will illuminate the HK Army Glow in the Dark Paintballs and have them supercharged for nonstop nightball fun. You do not know what you are missing out on until you go enjoy some night ball with some friends and shoot these instant tracers downfield with HK Army's glow-in-the-dark paintballs that provide precision accuracy, vibrant glow fill, and are all available right now on HKArmy.com. Do yourself a favor, head on over to HKArmy.com and get the new HK UV Sonic Loader and glow-in-the-dark paintballs right now exclusively at HK Army. Log in, support, have fun, and we'll see you on the field. Tell them PTG sent you. What's going on, PTG Nation? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This episode is an incredibly fun one. It's a lot different than our previous episodes. Tyler and myself were out at the WCPPL last weekend getting tons of content, interacting with everybody, and we set up a little merch booth. We want to say a huge thank you to everybody that showed up and supported uh, the brand, the podcast, the show, Tyler and myself. We both greatly appreciate it. I can't stress enough uh, how thrilled and um, uh, fulfilling the weekend was. Now, this episode, if you guys are listening and you're just on the audio side, we do recommend that you go and actually watch the video. There's a lot of background noise, and if just your, your headphones are in, it might might be a little frustrating. Not totally sure. Um, you know, it's all about your personal uh, threshold, I guess, for that kind of stuff. But we were, you know, doing the show from the booth, so you've got the teppanyaki guys to the left of us. You've got music to the right of us. You have, you know people coming up and having conversations. And, uh, you know, in that is a lot of gold and really great interviews from players and winners from each division. And, you know, we had Rainey on. Yeah, yeah, was on uh, a lot of big names as well. So again, you know, this is a little unique episode style. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know if we should keep doing these kinds of, you know, we're calling them an event show. So, you know, you always have these event videos from the sponsors. Uh, We wanted to show up and do basically a event podcast or event show um, showcasing the local regional leagues. So please make sure to let us know what you think in the comments, what we could do better. And uh, I promise you, uh, you will enjoy this one. So without further ado, we're going to hop in the show. That was an insane inside move by Marcelo Margot. Great communication. And the crowd starts chanting Harmon. Great, great shot by all the guys. So Tyler Harmon saved that game. Came out with two wins. Marcelo Margot was on fire. Okay, this is the last warning, the last chance. I just, again, want to make sure you guys heard my part of the intro. Uh, This video has a lot of background noise, so if you're just listening on your headphones, um, you know, it might bother you a little bit. Head over to the YouTube channel and watch it. It's really fun. You, You are behind the scenes in the PTG booth at the WCPPL event. Uh, again, there is back background noise, but it is an event video. It is awesome. There's tons of amazing uh, interviews in here, and you guys don't want to miss it. All right, we're going to hop to it. 
All right, what up everybody? We're out here at the WCPPL event number one. We got Cody Woodruff uh, from San Diego Aftermath, who just came off of an excellent uh, tournament out there at the Las Vegas Open and is a staple out here, obviously. Family owned park. Um, how long have you guys been here with ASG? About 10 years. Now. 10 years, yeah, and this is the park in Southern California. A lot of the pro teams come out. You guys are out here all the time practicing. Um, talk to me about your guys' preparation and how you guys have approached things on San Diego Aftermath. Uh, I mean, from day one of last season, it's about consistently playing together. You know? Yeah, having a good core of guys, uh, all local, that can, are willing to travel here every weekend and play baseball. That's what it's about, man. I mean, having a team where everybody is committed to the same kind of uh, goals and the same kind of growth, right? And we talk about that on the show all the time with divisional players. If you're in a group where, you know, half the team doesn't have the same vision or the same work ethic, it's really hard to have any sort of success, right? And Aftermath, you guys are a team of young players, right? Uh, new to the pro scene, at least, you know, very new and not much experience in the pro, pro league but you guys are stunting. You guys are absolutely like surprising people, right? And to me, it comes down to how much you guys play together. You guys are playing together every single weekend um, through the off season. I know you guys are out here every single weekend. You guys are probably out here on Christmas day. You know, you guys are out here so much, but it shows, right? Uh, you guys have good chemistry, you believe in one another, and uh, there's no ego on the team. So that kind of stuff um, is a really good example for divisional teams to, you know, have a, a path to the, to the finals, to winning tournaments, right? Yep. Here we go. We got Tyler Harmon yeah, in the background. Is. You know, again, we are live out here. We got Poppy's uh, Teppanyaki right here. We got the boys over Let's here. Go. Baller life, you know. Uh, we are here with the full-on event video, but um, let's kind of dive into WCPBO. Um, regional leagues, how important do you think they are for, you know, the, the sport in general? Very important. I mean, before I played on Aftermath, the last three, four years, I was just playing WCPL. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Premier all over. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, so I took a, I mean, I took a long break. And when I came back, I played on the Gummy Bears, and we started as a D4 team. Okay. WCPL. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody remembers the Gummy Bears. Gummy Bears were were an OG team out of here. And if you're in anywhere in the California area, you definitely heard of the Gummy Bears. Um, so, you know, to me, I think what Mike's trying to do with the WCPL, especially the lower divisions, bringing you know, new players on board, offering like a three free man, you know, free entry, just to get people into tournament paintball. Um, that's really important, right? Because there's two sides of the sport. We've got the recreational side, which you guys do a fantastic job. You guys have beautiful rec fields out here. You also have airsoft, you know, so I'm sure some airsofters sometimes probably like, oh, let me go try paintball. You guys are getting uh, tournament paintball exposure just by having both, you know, really good sides of the game here right um the next step of that is getting players into playing tournaments right because i don't know how exactly you got into tournament but why don't you share that story uh, it was playing at, it was up playing and a little in, closer to the mic if you don't mind sorry this is my bad we're we got a lot going on out here so i just want to make sure everyone can hear back home so we'll have to be a little awkward and lean in but uh, i was playing with my dad and then we used to play at an old field uh, in redlands Sick. Okay. Um, I just started playing back then, and actually, how I got into tournament paintball is I went to a dynasty clinic. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Sick. I didn't know that. I never knew that. That's awesome. Redlands. Was that the park that was always there? Was there only one field there? Yeah. So I remember playing uh, out there with Aftermath when I was younger. You know, uh, they had like the orange chronic bunkers. I remember that. And it was right next to the shooting range. Uh, man. Was on the outskirts of Redlands. The outskirts of Redlands. Yeah. yeah I can't imagine. Maybe there were two fields there. I don't know. I was a kid. I was like 13 years old. So I just remember going out to Redlands. Rock hard dirt. Yes. You know, rock hard dirt with some rocks you know some boulders um but uh, that's what we grew up on you know and now everyone complains over like the turf's not nice enough i'm like stop it you know we used to literally dive around on like se village was just straight sand you know it's like dirt like sandy dirt um but okay that's awesome so i started playing with my dad as well i, I first got into uh the tournament scene with three mans you know his little beginner three mans and i grabbed a couple buddies it's really easy to grab two friends rather than five and uh and play a tournament i was just kind of hooked you know um and then obviously it was such a great bonding experience for my dad and i you know which seems like it's the same for you and, and wayne your dad is out here all the time with you guys you know everybody if you if you haven't been to wayne county this is asg wayne county baby 
Yeah. You know, Wayne County is, you know, Wayne's the man. Uh, he really does a lot for this sport. <laughs> I love calling it Wayne County. He's the sheriff out here, you know. He's the absolute sheriff. So, um, you know, and your mom as well, Karen, just fantastic. She is so sweet. Always uh, has nothing but great things to say about, um, you know, paintball in general. Like, she is a huge supporter. So, you guys are a full family of paintball, which is awesome. Um, do you think that... And this is a dumb question. It's kind of rhetorical, but do you think paintball has brought your family closer? 100. It's like that is something we all kind of work towards. I think, especially growing up, it's like yeah. the thing that we've all kind of looked forward to on the weekends. And now it became something much bigger than that, right? Yeah. No, it, it really is, man. It's something, you know, we talk about it all the time as well as uh, you can play with your mom, you can play with your dad, you can play this game with anybody, you know, like there's, I, I can't go and play football or basketball with, you know, my parents, you know, it just, especially if they're quite a bit older. My dad was, was 60 years old when we started playing paintball together, you know, so I couldn't go to the basketball court with him, but he could stand in the back and make it rain and, and you know, communicate to me on the field and we could have a good time, you know, my older brother played, actually both my older brothers played, my two younger brothers played, so it was a really cool family experience for me as well, and I think that that's something that uh, a lot of people do experience in the game, it's really special, so, um, let's see, Cody, uh, WCPBL, uh, are you going to go and do any of the XPSLs with my, you know, are you going to travel and help with, with, with anything else, or are you just here because it's at ASG? Uh, so, originally, when I got on the team, I was just an about to ref, right? That was kind of the deal with Aftermath as a ref. Brutal deal, <laughs> by the way. We had to do that back in 09. That was like, I remember. Refing is, it is hard. It is hard work, you yes. know? It is hard. We like, we know the game and you still miss calls. And you feel bad about it, you know? Yeah. You're standing out in the sun all day. There's like a trade that goes down and you're like, eh, you're both out. <laughs> Shit. You know, that might have been, it should have been a penalty, you know? But okay, keep going. Uh, but, uh, so there was some mix up or some drama, I would say. That's probably the best way to put it. And then I end up taking more responsibility than just that. Okay. So currently I do uh, all the score keeping setup. Uh, I started on Wednesday, get all that set up. And that's kind of my, uh, I guess, responsibility. Okay. Yeah, like the whole electronic side. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, that's important. You know, even at the NXL. Stuff's going down, scoreboard oh, yeah. doesn't work sometimes. We're like, can we get this? You know, maybe you got to be over there. I haven't seen any issues over here. Maybe, uh, uh, Tom Cole, we got to get this man in the NXL booth. No, 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 <laughs> not yet. Not football. yet. <laughs> you can do both, okay? You know, yeah, 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 total, total superstar action. You're on the field stunting, and then you make sure everything's running well. You know? A little bit of conflict That's, of interest, yeah, you know? a <laughs> little bit. There's a lot of that in paintball, you know, there That's is, true. but um, we're in the beginning stages, right? Yeah. So you know, that's why you see so many professional players, they wear a lot of different hats, yeah. right? And even in the league, a lot of the, you know, executives, and they wear a lot of different hats. So some of the stuff might appear as a conflict of interest sometimes, but it's it's just the only way that we can, you know, go forward right now. Um, because people are trying to do whatever they can to help, help the sport kind of improve and grow. Um, so you're right, but also we're in little baby infancy stages, you know, we'll grow out of it for sure. Um, Cody, what's the team looking like heading into Texas? What are your guys' practice plans, and uh, how do you guys feel after you know the Las Vegas event? I think the biggest thing was like on Sunday in Vegas was after that heat match. It was just that was such a big moment, right, for the team. I mean, that last point was insane, and it's like overcoming those hurdles, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that that was a crazy match yeah. for sure. Came down to the wire. Looked like Heat was going to win, yeah. and then you guys kind of stole it at the last second. We got T back there. Sorry, Poppy. <laughs> Let's go. Shout Let's out to go. PTG. Let's go. Divisional coverage. Let's yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, how about that Vegas aftermath game? We got the boy right here. We got we action. Were just, we were just we uh, talking, about, <laughs> talking about it. We got action. Um, so heading into Texas, you guys are who are you practicing? Uh, we're practicing you guys yep. next week and Uprising. We're coming yep. out here. Yeah, absolutely. And then layout weekend. Uh, we are practicing <laughs> Dynasty Game yep. and Aftershock. And Aftershock. Yeah, so really excited to uh, see Aftershock kind of, uh, you know, outside of the tournament setting. See what, you know, all their social media stuff has been great. They've been fun yeah, to follow. Definitely. Um, how do you feel about that side of the game, social media? Does Aftermath have a big social media presence? Uh, actually, it's me, so. It's you, all right, <laughs> yeah. all right. You um, do it all, see? Look, yeah, a little you bit know? of everything, uh -huh. yeah. 
100%. Okay. Um, uh, it's me and then Paul, uh, FPS Paul, who runs Violence, actually does the filming Okay. in Vegas. So Nice. Hopefully he's going to all the events with us to help you know, get more content for us. Content's important. Very important. Absolutely is. Especially in this day and age, Cody, getting paintball stuff just out to the masses is huge. That's how we get exposure to people that don't know the game. Um, but yeah, all right. How are you guys? Uh, you gonna make any predictions for Texas? How do you guys feel? You know, you guys gonna win the tournament? You gonna make Sunday again? Go deep. I mean, I like to say that we have an upward trajectory, right? But I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> no, man, that's an excellent answer. And you guys are definitely on the right trajectory. I'm really uh, excited to practice you guys and uh, excited to see you guys. You know, carry the legacy forward. That's where Tyler and I both, you know, played Let's on go, aftermath. Baby. Keep and carrying the ages. Torch. And uh, we always root for the team. So appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. I know you got a lot of work to do, brother. Appreciate you taking the time out. You got to go put all the hats on. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Marcel. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. All right. We're back. What's up? Right here. We got our boy, Ben Slofer. Ben Slofer in the building. Uh, just came off of, was it quarterfinals? I think so. I believe so. Round of eight. A quarterfinals loss uh, against Regime. He's out here uh, guesting with the Narcos. How was the weekend? Uh, it was a good weekend overall. Uh, weather was pretty cold yesterday, but today it's beautiful, clear. It was freezing yesterday for everybody. That that uh, this is the reason we didn't do any media. It was rainy. It was wet. We were supposed yeah. to have like a full-on tent too. It didn't show up in time, uh, so we're making do with the WCPBL tent, which is actually awesome, perfect for an event video. But yeah, it was cold. It was cold out there. I mean, it was good for us though, because it seemed like the rain would come in right after we would be done playing, and then when we were actually playing, it was never raining. So <laughs> it worked out. Nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Anytime you can dodge the rain like that, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, so what was it like playing with with a new team? Obviously. Um, been uh, somebody that I've worked with for a long time, played on the Misfits last year. Um, you're playing with Aftershock over in Europe this year. Uh, talk to us about guessing with the Narcos and how that experience has been. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was a good experience. A lot of the guys are a little newer, but I mean, a lot of those newer guys were stunned out there on the premiere field today and yesterday. So, I mean, I thought we played pretty well with what we had. And uh, I think this was a lot of these guys' first premiere tournament as well. Yeah. So we showed out yesterday going 3-1, and one, and then we lost a close one to the team today. But, I mean, I think at the later tournaments, you know, if they continue practicing together, we could like, make a pretty deep run. I agree. Honestly, watching the team, I was really impressed, and then making the jump. Uh, obviously, having Ryan as, as coach, yeah. Ryan Greenspan, is a, is a huge boost to the organization. Yeah, yeah. Um, that team is, has gotten leaps and bounds better in the last like year. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of that is Ryan's coaching and their dedication. They play a lot of paintball. Um, what kind of things do you think the team should work on? Uh, a lot of it is just dying in pairs. Uh, one guy dies, and I feel like I, I haven't watched all of the footage about it, but it just seems like they try and over. Uh, what's the word? Overextend. Overextend yeah. into like another gun to try and hold up his own, and then they end up getting clipped as a second guy. Yeah. And then dying off in pairs is bad. And also, just winning the points too fast. Like I feel like we get all the way down to the field and just get too excited and shoot all the bodies right away, and then we'll be up 3-0, 4-0, and then we'll still have like 10 minutes left. So yeah. yeah. Just Sure. Too much time. Uh, you know, the, the philosophy I think is win slow, lose fast, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, unless you're up points, then you want to lose slow. Uh, but uh, yeah, I agree. You know, watching those games, the, the team lost a lot of high body situations as well. You know, so like a little lack of patience in some of those moments where you have an advantage. But very promising for sure. Uh, talk to us about, you know, what you got going on the rest of, of the year, you know, rest NXL the year. or, you know, any of the uh, other events. Plan on playing Texas here soon with uh, New York Wrecking Crew. Let's go back yep. with the squad. Yep. And so, then uh, have NXL Europe at the end of May. And uh, yeah, just doing those two things, WC and uh, Europe for the rest of the year. And then maybe NXL if that works out. How excited are you to uh, be back playing in the WC? Let's talk a little bit about regional leagues. You've played yeah. in you know, all sorts of regional leagues around the country, MSXL, OPS, uh, here's the WCPBL. What do you think about the divisional scene out here? Uh, I mean, I think it's the best regional series in the country for sure. Like the refs are always good here. I mean, they're pretty consistent. Like if they're throwing flags, they're throwing flags for everybody, you know? 
which is yeah, good to see. For sure. So, I mean, it's run well. There's never really, like, any, like, major issues, you know? Because a lot of these other regional events, you know, it just seems like they're kind of just going through with it just to have the event happen and just not really caring about the experience of it. Totally. Can you guys hear him? Oh, they can hear us. Get in there. They can hear us. Dude, the young legend. <laughs> the young legend in the house. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome, man. Well, Ben, we're excited to see what you do the rest of the season. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll even make an appearance with Team USA uh, with the men's team. You're too old for the U19s. Yeah, yeah. um, we got to carry that torch with uh, both squads. It's going to be really tough. But, um, yeah, thank you for coming on PTG. Thank Thanks you. for coming out here. And uh, have a good rest of the day. Play the game. Play the game. We're re reporting live. Live. Re live. Reporting live, live from the Dub Sea with Thomas Taylor. What's up, everybody? Yes, Thomas. How's it going? Dude, it is awesome. This this place is bank. It is. I have not been to a WCBL in like 10 years, and I showed up and I was like, <laughs> I'm a mind blown. The cars are going for miles in all every directions. Direction. Yeah. Every every direction. There's so There's many like a real vendor village. Like yeah. the, the real deal. Yeah. Four fields, banging teams everywhere. Like this feels like, I mean, it feels like an NXL. I mean, it's yeah. massive. It is. It this is. is crazy. It's going amazing. You have your squad out here. Yes, Talk sir. to us about that. If Miss Kids, now Iconic, yes. moving into a new name. Um, they're doing great. They went the three and one. Uh, first three matches, they, they steamrolled. Last go, one, they, they got some um, adversity. Um, yeah. Weren't able to score a point in like 26 seconds left. So, uh, you know, they're 3-1. They may still win their division. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out. It's not over yet. But, uh, I mean, yeah, they're playing good. It's their first, like, real X-Ball event, right? They played youth. They played local. Um, uh, the NWX League I run. But they haven't played a, a, an X-Ball event, right? So, yeah. testing their merit, you know, finding out where they stand in the world. Um, but, man, it's fun to watch them play baseball. Good. And I'm kind of glad that they got tested in that last game so that they can go into the next round tomorrow with a, a different mindset, a different hunger, and a different awareness of what can sting them as well, right? Absolutely. I mean, they yeah. learned so much from that time. They learned clock management. They learned, you know, you know how to close a game, yeah. you know, where it was at. You know, I mean, they were still doing all the right things. They just didn't do it fast enough. I'm like, yeah. this is going to give them that, like, oh, hey, we could do this better. Something to talk about. Like, yeah. you know, if they had just steamrolled all four, you know, hey, look, we're the yeah, best. Yeah. Ooh. And they come and get smacked down tomorrow morning and go home and eight yeah. or whatever. Right, you know, so um, yeah, this is gonna be good for. Them. I think it's really good for them, and I'm all about these kids learning and growing. You know, good. I mean, they're they're on that right path, right? You know, I keep saying it, but these right. kids are gonna be the next dynasty. You know what I'm saying? Let's, Let's go, go, boys. Let's go. Can't <laughs> you know? wait to see it. And you you guys have one of the best families in paintball. Shout out to Tiff. Shout hey, out to baby, your love whole, you. Whole entire squad up in the Northwest. And I know you do a lot locally as well, yeah. helping youth paintball and just helping paintball in general. So kind of talk to us about your mission up there and what you guys have been doing. Yeah, I mean, I've been in uh, Northwest now five years. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. I remember when you moved up there. That's insane. It is blown by. Yeah, uh, Keith really. was just a little baby. Now he's yeah. a two-time world champ. Wow, you Let's know, go, Keith. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, no, so in the Northwest, we're doing a lot of cool things. I've been working with Impact Action Sports, now working with KC Crusaders, too, yeah. um, growing a little X-Ball League. So teams can come and play in D5 or D4, practice for this and practice for um, the NXL, right? So really having like a, a real um, uh, X-Ball League. So there's nothing like that in the Northwest, right? Yeah. Everybody plays versions of five-man or race two. Yeah. Um, so that's what I've been growing. We have four events now. It's a series, you know, series title, prizes. We run it like the NXL. So that's a pretty cool thing. And then below that, we have the, I have a thing called the Trilogy Series. And I'm working with the Impact Action Sports, and that's like three-man young guns beginner yeah. and that's really where it's cool you know i mean got uh you know my little boy zeki he's already won three events and he's only no. seven yeah what? yeah yeah he's out Let's there go, playing Zach. right back yeah Let's go, um so uh yeah i mean i just like working with players i love coaching yeah, i love being i mean I, I really truly enjoy it and yeah. so just to see what has happened in the five years we've been in the Northwest has been really, really cool. Well, I mean, you have single-handedly cultivated an entire legion of paintball players up there. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that, that is, that's you, brother. Oh, like, you. That's an amazing that. thing to do for the game. And it's so cool to see these youngsters taking all the knowledge that, you know, Thomas is one of the best players in the world. This guy has done it all. In, in the early 2000s, literally the most iconic player of all time. Like, the Mohawk, you all remember how it went, you know? So yes, it's 
it's amazing to see you continuing to just fall in love with the game over and over and over again. It's so beautiful. Bro. It is. And it, now we're out here at the yeah, Dump Sea. loving it. The, the vendor village is popping. Popping. You actually have some stuff over here. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just dropped the new line, a little Troll Snake That's Skull cool. right here. You see my little yeah, paintballs in there? Um, so yeah. we just dropped that, a limited edition run here. Um, we have all the IK stuff, so the iconic, infamous kid stuff. We have that stuff there. We help raise money for them. And then you can see right, hold on, I get the right here. Right here, shout out to Finlay, uh, Jimmy Hickey. He is an awesome human being. Um, he supports me, he supports the kids, so we got special stuff there. And I brought down his booth, so I'm working yeah. with that. And then on the other side, um, a local guy, um, right here, Ryan uh, Stanchfield, SSC Custom. Yes, 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 and then Baron with um, uh, oh, Ace. Dude, Baron's yeah. the man. He yeah, just yeah, made yeah, us yeah. a Headband? crazy one. Go grab yeah. one. Hey, grab one. So show the people. Yeah, I, I'm going to stick with you. Okay. Marcel is over here. We got him in the back. He's yeah, you, you, you should. You, you guys got to come check it out. Baron yeah. makes really cool stuff. Yeah. Shout out to him. He does really cool stuff. So yeah. he made the kids some like custom ones. He made me some uh, NYX ones, some yeah. blue ones. Yeah. Yeah, which are pretty cool uh, good stuff but yeah but the vendor village is popping if you want to support and you're here please come by uh you got fueled by fire markers i got a, a collab with Project, yeah the markers tell them, tell them about the markers yeah so fueled by fire cs3s i have them i have them on my website yeah. i have some new ones being made also our canadizing shout out yeah. and then over here i got a project fueled by fire lv2 is limited yeah. run we have two of them left there support, was, the, boy. support so, the boy support the boy please come over hang out i got some uh playing jerseys from infamous left over no nyx ones those sold like those are I gone. Second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a new jersey, a new stamp. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are like, I need that first one, so right. they, they didn't make it. Um, yeah. But yeah, the Vendor Village is cool. It's just, for me, as I transition, you know, I'm not transitioning. I'm, gonna, I'm not saying I'm retiring this year. Wait, I love playing baseball. What? Not that I didn't say <laughs> that. But I, I am, you know, focusing more on the kids, focusing more on coaching. I'm still yeah. focusing on myself and going of to the gym and being, being an athlete because I love it and I'm competitive. And I'm not going to just let him shoot me. He's going to have to earn it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every That's time. It goes. <laughs> every time, damn it. Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, doing the gear, having my own line, building a line yeah. for the kids. Um, Cultivating. It's just, it's just, it's all part of the experience you guys yeah. are doing here, right? Yeah. You're doing this, you're making gear, yeah. you're, you know, you're playing paintball on different teams, it's all the, and that guy keeps stealing all our trophies. <laughs> I know. Them or something. There he is. Let's get him. Let's, get, let's go get him. Yeah, listen. <laughs> You know, it, it's a it's a really cool time in paintball right it now. It is, and, and you can feel the energy. There's so many people that want to support this game. We've got a lot of big news that's going to be breaking as we roll into the season as well. Um, and also, look out for we're going to have uh, Tyler from the NFL on PTG this week. We got a lot Algeria? of Algeria. Yeah, dude, he's sweet, bro. I met him. I met yeah. him in Vegas. Yeah. Hey, he's the yeah. most humble dude. So he was good. so sweet. He loves paintball. We just rapped about paintball for a while. Yeah. Like, he's sweet, dude. Yeah. Jack. Yes, Jack. He, is. he goes, he's like, man, you're in good shape. I'm like, what, me? Bro. I'm like, bro. <laughs> for real, though. He's a monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, it's cool, dude. You know, uh, it's weird. Like, every time I see like a football player, someone is sports player, I just never go talk to them. Yeah. Because like, my whole life, like in this world, like you know, if you can't walk from point to point, I love it, guys. I'm not saying don't, but like when people are out in the real lives, I, I don't generally go say yeah. something to them. Like, yeah. you know, they don't want to bother. Yeah, but he, yeah. but he was kind of introduced because he likes paintball, so it was cool. Yeah. It was just kind of like a mutual thing, and he loves it. So I'm glad you can have him on the show. I want to hear yeah. what he has to say about you know his life and, and paintball and all that kind of stuff. So well, it, it says a lot about paintball when you have a top tier NFL player who says how difficult the game is and how challenging not only physically but mentally this sport is. So oh. it, it adds validation to what we do as pro players when you have top athletes talking about it in that way. As well. And I love it too because like. I don't know. I mean, like, I probably all of you that are watching this or will watch this understand, you know, 23 years I've been playing a snake position. Unheard of. Right? Like, unheard of. The, the, the body isn't, like, it's just not like a thing, right? Yeah. Like, people can't do that. And so, like, for someone like him to have that conversation with me, like, man, this is tough. You know, I got to be careful. I'm only on the play for certain times. Yeah. And, and I can't die or slide, right? Because he has all his rules. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I hear you. I mean, I mean, you know what I said? Yeah, yeah, it beats your body no. up. It's, yeah. I mean, it's real, dude. I played all my sports, too. I played football and rugby, obviously. Yeah. But this, yeah. it beats you up. I'm not saying I, I could take a hit from an NFL player. I'm not no. saying that. No, no I, I don't want that train. I don't want that train. No, the train wreck would not just leave me there to die. Yeah. But what I am saying is that the physicality of throwing your body to the ground over and over is something. Right. So, and he understands that. And it's cool, like, to hear from him. I was like, oh, man, respect. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what I kind of felt. I was like, oh, respect. That's All right. right. I feel you. That's right. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And shout out to uh, Mike Hinman. We got to show love for Mike. Oh, my God, Mike. Hey. You're doing it, dude. Seriously. It's a beautiful Mike. Yes. Like, 
literally, I pulled the mic and I'm like, bro, I am so proud of you. And he kind of looked at me, I'm like, no, no, like, this is awesome. Well, like, this awesome. and the USXBL is popping. Poppin', it just it got back from Texas. And it's, it's so cool. good. Yeah. I, when Mike was starting his league, when he was starting his league, you know, we tested, we're going, like, I remember having those conversations about how he was going to start a league and seven man was going to die right then. Like, yeah. this whole thing, like, his, like, oh, I'm just going to start this league. I love paintball. Yeah. I mean, like, that was probably 15 years ago. Now he could, he could date it probably better. Yeah. And then you know, to be to, to be, be here, this, this yeah. is this is the real deal. I mean, this. And also, I gotta I gotta show love because Mike saved us. We were supposed to have a, a whole PTG canopy cover. We got stifled with uh, the guy who was supposed to make it. Just like reeled us along and didn't make it. What, what is it? So oh, it's, a w it's a dub C cover. We got Mike hooked us up with the W. C. People think they're coming to registration or something, you know? And they, it's us over here that's doing why I podcast. Find you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. But um, Thomas, I just. Want wanted to have you on and say thank you for everything that you've done in the game over the years. Love you with all my heart. And everybody be sure to, sure to support Thomas. ThomasTrollTaylor.com. Yes. If you're not here, please, thank yeah. you, love you. And all you out here grinding, doing your work, I'm over there watching. We see you. Let's go. Shout out. Keep yeah. the game growing. We yes. love it. Much love. Much love. T, Play the game, thank baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, everybody, we're back here uh, out at the WCPPO. We have our boy Colin Cherry. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the West Coast. Welcome to the WCPBL. Um, you brought the CEP boys out, you know, former pro team, been uh, in the game for a long time. So what do you think about the event? What do you think about the West Coast and, and WCPBL? Yeah, it's great to be out here. Um, a lot of action out here, a lot of really good teams to play against. There's a lot of pro team, pro players on each of these teams, so the competition's really good. Um, this is some of the best repping I've seen at a you know, non-national event that I've ever been to. Uh, yeah. This is my first one, so um, it's always exciting to come out to the West Coast and see how paintball is played around the world. Um, and I think they really do it right out here in California. Um, a lot of vendors, a lot of really good teams, so get a good look. Yeah, 100%. Mike, uh Mike came in, runs a really nice league. He runs a, a great show, great production. Like if you're walking up and down here, for anyone that's not out here, uh, explain the vendors area to them. For a regional league, it's like the coolest that I've seen. You feel like you're at a national event. Yeah, you know, they've got food. Uh, they're cooking up. Uh -huh. What is this right here? We're we're this is right teppanyaki here. right here. Hibachi, 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 Hibachi. Hibachi teppanyaki. That was in Vegas. You were yep. in Vegas. I know yep. they're in Vegas. So You got Pops Tacos, Super Elite Tacos oh, over on the five. other side. You got the ballers right the here. Movie. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Booth life. Let's go. Oh, we got another one. There we go. There we go. It's a lot of fun out here. Yeah. Um, paintball's good. Yesterday the weather wasn't great, but today it's beautiful California weather, so I'm thankful for that. Yeah, much better today. Yesterday was cold, windy. We didn't have the walls up, so we weren't doing the interviews, but, you know, we got a little bit of... Uh, um, you know, nice weather, good conditions, so we're out here. Sun is shining today. Yeah, yeah. So how did the team end up? Uh, we ended up going two and two. We lost our last two games. Uh, after we won our first two pretty well, we beat LA Collision in overtime. Um, and then we beat uh, Grind City in our first match. But then we lost to Narcos, who I think you were helping out. Uh, my boy Ben's playing with him. Ryan Green's going to coaching him. I wasn't really helping too much. I was just watching, right, supporting my boy Ben. Um, but you your know, boy Ben, he yeah. took it to us. They beat us, I think, 7-3. to three. And then we lost in overtime against Seattle Cartel, basically, to move on. So that was uh, a little disappointing. Yeah. In the tournament. Well, uh, Seattle Cartel, definitely a good team. They've been in the WCBL for a long time. And Narcos, we were all really impressed with. You know, they jumped up from Division Three last year. Um, I don't think they won an event last year either. And so to make the jump and, and to make Sunday in Premier, which is, as you guys saw, it's a really tough, really competitive division. I think it's one of the most competitive um, non-national you know, it's like, it's kind of like semi-pro, you know. Yeah, definitely, kinda, definitely yeah. a lot like semi-pro. We played a ton of points. It was one thing I noticed on yeah. this layout in particular. You know, scores were five to four, six four. Like you're playing ten points a match. It kind of adds up. What'd you think of the layout? I thought the layout was really fun. Yeah, I thought it was pretty simple. You know, a straight down ladder snake, kind of two straight down ladder snakes right next to each other. Mm -hmm. Kind of get back to the classic kind of layouts, not the inverted, yeah, you know, yeah. asymmetrical stuff. Right. Um, I've always seen the layouts they've made here, and they've always seemed to be pretty, like, classic. And that's they what crush I like. it. Yeah. yeah, the layouts at the WCPBL are always awesome. They're a lot of fun. Coaching on them last year, last couple years, was really exciting because 
um, it rewards like good teamwork, good skill, ability, right? It's really difficult to get into some of the spots like the snake, it's hard to get into, but if you do, it's incredibly Super rewarding, rewarding, right? So I love fields that are like that to where you have to work hard to get into the good spots, but if you do, you get rewarded. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems like, you know, they always, they don't miss. They don't miss with those. No, it was a lot of fun. I was playing that center brick and I had a lot of fun going up there and trying to punch through the gut there. Yeah. So those definitely opportunities to make your moves, but at the same yeah. time, you had your chance to shoot the guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it was fun to play. I had a lot of fun. Nice, dude. Uh, are you guys here all weekend or you heading back tonight, tomorrow? We're, we're here for the rest of the day today and I'm headed out tomorrow morning. Okay. And then what's next? Uh, Texas. Texas. Getting ready for Texas. Yeah, I'll have a weekend off next weekend and then right back to the Texas. And, and who are you playing with out there? I'm playing with Mutiny and Semi Pro. Okay, nice. How's that going? How's, it's going, how's going Vegas? Pretty, it was okay. Uh, we missed a cut. We went two and two again. We lost to Texas Demolition in a you know game that would have put us through. Um, it was a close game. I think we lost four to three. But the team's right there. You know, it's my first time playing with the team, so I'm kind of you know gelling and seeing how it goes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. Well, Colin, you've been in the game for a really long time. Again, you know, you've been around for more than a decade. What do you think um, is the next step for paintball, you know, as far as our growth as a, as a you know, competitive sport? I mean, I think, you know, everybody talks about getting on TV. I mean, I think we really need to get paintball on, on the eyes of people that don't always watch paintball. Like, we've got to get it in front of people that don't always know what the game is or haven't seen paintball so i think that's our main challenge is how do we get people that don't play paintball to buy into it and really like know what our game is absolutely yeah totally i think you know through social media and different streaming platforms and services telling the stories of you know the divisional players the professionals that is imperative to the growth um, I think we are in a really good direction with that right now. It seems like the game is uh, better than it's ever been almost. You know, it seems really healthy, it seems really vibrant. It seems like we're kind of on, on the cusp of, you know, some outside interest. We've had a lot of like high profile athletes start to get into the game and really appreciate the game. Um, I definitely agree, you know, more like, more, more free stuff, you know, free streaming of the pro games, you know. Uh, obviously, I understand certain things need to be behind a paywall. Go Sports does a fantastic job. Their product is super elite, but there's still so much we can build off of that to just pump out to the masses. Mm -hmm. You know, all the shows. This is a shout out to anyone that wants to start a paintball podcast or a paintball show. Do it. Absolutely do it. Pursue it. Tell the stories, you know, because that is really good for the growth of the game. And uh, yeah, and I agree. That's a huge one for sure. So, you know, yeah, everyone that knows paintball loves paintball. Right. But if you don't know paintball, you How don't know. How can you love it? it? Yeah. How can you love yeah. it? What's your favorite thing about paintball? The people. The people. That's what everyone says. <laughs> you know? All the people say that. Yeah. Right? The relationships, the experiences, that's absolutely right. The travel, you get to see beautiful places. Like, I'm out here in San Diego, California. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, right? well, we're not in San Diego. Or Temecula. Yeah, yeah, we're a little we're a little north of San Diego, just to be clear. San Diego's a gem. Have you been down to San Diego? I have. Okay. I have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. La Jolla Cove. Don't confuse the two. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't confuse yeah, the no. two. San Diego, best city in the world. Facts. La Jolla Cove. Love that place. What did you do? You go swimming in the in the cove there. You do the kayaking. I went on vacation with my wife uh, last year, and we just kind of went and looked at the beaches. We didn't get to kayak, but that's something I really want. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. La Jolla is beautiful. Going to the sea caves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome, brother. Well, sure. Thank you for uh, for joining us here on PTG. We'd love to have you on for a long form episode. Guys, so come, right we got the, the we got the crew right back here. there. There we go. Rest yeah, of the doing team. Doing Christian Marto. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it's really cool to see CEP back in in the game. Is there any plans to bring him to the NXL? Potentially, um, we wanted to come out here to WCPPL and just kind of see we still had it. See, we still had it. Yeah, All right. And it was a lot of fun, and nice. you know, I think we can definitely do better the next time around. Are you coming back to the next WC? That remains to be seen, but okay. I think it seems likely. It's great practice. Yeah, it's great practice. I wish I could still play the WCs. You know, they. I wish Mike would just allow. Like, if you're gonna allow one pro, don't have a point thing. You know, I kind of understand why he does it, but I wish I could play because the, this league is so much fun. There's a lot but of pros I, around. You know, you, yeah. you walk through the alley and you see pro coaches coaching all these teams. It's like, whoa, this is pretty serious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's tons of pro players. You have Kyle Spicka, Mouse, you know, Skinny Kevin, Rich Telfer, Rainey. Todd Adamson, Rainey. 
Yep, his team is actually in the finals right now as we're on this, uh, on, you know, doing this recording. Randy's team is in the finals for D3 uh, with the Sicarios. So we're going to have the MVP of that match on here afterwards. But yeah, tons of action. And obviously, yeah. Tyler, you got everyone. The community is awesome. But really, it's not even about the pros here. It's about the divisional guys, you know. The divisional teams, are they, they show out. They're excited. It's just a really great weekend of paintball. There's so. 45 D4 teams, I think. It's huge. It's a big it's division. huge. Yeah, Mike was saying there's like, you know, eight, 900 players, he thinks, here, you know. So for a regional league, that's excellent. They got it going on out yeah, here. Yeah, they do, sure. man. So make it out they to do. WC when you can. Yeah. All right, brother. Colin, thank you so much. See you soon. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, everybody. We are here with the D3 champions. We got the go, MVP baby. of the finals, Grayson uh, Bromber. Yes, sir. Awesome. And the event MVP, our boy Cyrus. Big pro guy. If you guys Let's been go, watching Cyrus. the Instagram, big pro guy here. Uh, Sicarios, um, they... Uh, had a really good event. You guys played phenomenal. I got to watch quite a few games. Rainey's their coach, uh, so obviously, you know, good leadership. Um, yeah, how are you guys feeling after the win right now? Feeling incredible, honestly. It was a huge team win. We loved every end of it, you know. Rainey had a great game plan, we all stuck to the game plan. Honestly, just leaned on each other, made sure that we had good communication, and that's really what led us to victory, so it's great. Awesome. I'm not falling up that. So. <laughs> I, I like it. Some, sometimes it's better to just say copy and paste, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Grayson, I want to talk to you because, you know, you got the finals MVP, right? And the very first point, you get shot off the break. A lot of players, when something like that happens to them, it gets in their head, and they're, like, afraid to continue to attack. And Rainey, actually, if you guys have not watched the WCPPL uh, D3 finals, you should go back and watch. Rainey put on a master class in overtime, decides to go double snake on a break, which is, you know, just wild. What a, what a great move. Uh, Rain Man is never afraid, you know, as he says, scared money don't make money. But t how how did you approach the game, the rest of the match, you know, after getting shot off the break the first one? Yeah. And just, you know, kind of brushing it off and then get the finals MVP. Absolutely. No, I, I feel like paintball is honestly a huge mental game. And so coming off and just making sure that you're ready, filling up your pods, you know, being calm, cool, collected, whether you win or lose, just steady Eddie. You know, and so we just kept it going and, you know, made sure that we were in the fight the entire time. And then towards the end, you know, honestly, we had this double snake play in our pocket throughout the event. And it really was great just because, you know, we knew we could lean on it. When we yeah, it. And that. so right when overtime came, he looked at us and was like, hey, you guys want to do this? And we we're just we were confident in the game plan and executed. So, yeah, I, I love that. I love rolling the dice like that. You know, we did a lot of that last year in Premier. We get to the finals and same thing. I look at the team and say, I got a crazy idea. Are you guys in or not? Right. And the whole team's like, let's do it. Right. And, definitely, definitely. and usually it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Whatever. Right. You move on. But. Um, you got to have that mindset, like you said, steady Eddie, on to the next point. Um, that's a really valuable tidbit for, for players, right? You can't dwell on what happened in the past. You try to learn from it, you know, and getting shot off the break isn't usually your fault. Maybe you could change your route, you know, that kind of stuff. No matter what the mistake is, the next point's a new point, right? And the game's not over until the game's over. Exactly. So, you know, then our boy Cyrus opened up the event winning a one-on-three. That's pretty stellar. Yeah. That's pretty crazy, a one-on-three out here. And then had a huge one-on-one -on -one victory in overtime. Uh, it went to one-on-ones, and uh, you pulled it off in the semifinals to put the team into the finals. So, uh, yeah, talk to us about being out here. Obviously, uh, you've been coming out to the West Coast for, uh, well, let's rewind a little bit because your story is epic. For those of you that don't know Cyrus, he just uh, drove across the country, moved to Texas to play with PB Fit, so he could be full-time paintball. Um, he's been really putting in the work, coming out to the West Coast, playing the WCPBL all last season and this season. Talk to us about West Coast paintball and the league out here. Well, Mike, Mike runs an absolutely stellar league. Anything Mike has his hands on is almost always good. Um, so the WCs run very well. You get almost all the same rest from the NXL events. So the repping is almost, it's very consistent. Like you don't get, you don't get too many bad eggs. So it's, Mike runs a very well league and then, uh, I forgot the rest of your questions, but... I asked a lot of questions, yeah. brother. No, I'm just curious what you think of the WCPBL and West yeah. Coast paintball, right? How competitive is it out here? You're obviously in the pro division now. You, you played semi-pro. So what it, you know, what about uh, this league do you think is different from other leagues? So I think this league, it just has, it has a lot of heavy hitters. So like the Premier, it, you, get, you get put against the pros, and then obviously... Uh, this is my probably my last D3 event. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be pointed out after right. the next one. But um, like you, you get me in the in D3. We got the rest of the Sicarios out there. Yeah, champs, the squad. But um, 
Yeah, so the the comp is very good. You get you get a mix of everything. You get the fast guys. You get the every the big guys that are good at zone control. You really have to you have to learn a bunch of different play styles, especially with this league, because you gotta you gotta kind of shift to what team you're playing, and then and then we end up being like a mix. So we got our heavy shooters, and then we also got the fast guys like this guy. So uh, it's it's very well rounded, I would say. Nice, awesome. I totally agree. Watching and, and coaching in this league for the last like 10 years, the competition is really good, right? And I travel across the country and, and coach in different regional leagues. It's one of the best ones in the nation, in my opinion. Everything is well done. The venue here, we, we're talking about it with every guest. The venue is amazing. You know, you have so many uh, vendors. You got great food on, all over the place. The food's Pops amazing. Tacos, shout out. Yeah, Pops Tacos is always popping. You have Poppy's Teppanyaki. Uh, there's like a great little lemonade stand. I mean, you feel like you're at an NXL event. You really do, you know? So um, the, the culture is really good here right it's a really fun fun league yeah. for everybody which is important you know for divisional players and and people to come out and enjoy this this is the type of thing that like you could be proud to bring your girlfriend your parents you know um your boyfriend whatever it is you got going on you know you could bring them out here and be like yeah this is this is kind of cool you know uh it looks looks professional it's really well done so, yeah um grayson how long have you been playing Oh man, I think my first event was 2011. So back in okay. like the RPL days, MPPL days, yeah. Man, old school PSP. Yeah. So I've been at it for a while, and you know, just can't get away from it. You catch the paintball bug, and you're hooked. You know? That's right. that's it, 100. percent How old are you? 28. 28. Yes, Still sir. young. Still young. Still young. Yep. Cyrus, how old are you? I'm uh, just turned 23. 23. Yeah. Super young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cracked in the pro division already. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. What are your goals? My goal in is paintball. In, in, in paintball, honestly, you just keep growing and keep, keep winning tournaments, you know. Right now, I mean, we started off on a really good note, and hopefully we can just stay consistent throughout the season, keep winning, and then hopefully as it's going to move on to the division, that's really, you know, I'm just looking like, to, to grow within this division and, and with this team, so. Nice. Yeah. Um, what's it like been playing under Rainey? Uh, amazing, amazing. This is my first year with the Sicarios, and honestly, he just has such a fantastic paintball mind. Um, he's really patient, you know, he's animated, of course. Yep. Um, so, you know, he's always getting the team hyped up, but at the right moment, you know, yeah. he knows he knows when to dial it back and, you know, let us basically get our emotions out on the field in the, in the right time and then come together and connect and settle down also at the right time. So he's a, he's great mentally, great game plans. You know, he's such a fantastic paintball mind again. He's been at it forever mm -hmm. out here, you know, growing up. So he, he gets the West Coast, you know, paintball scene, and it's just, it's great. So, yeah. You going to follow that one up? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a, a well-spoken. He's well-spoken for sure. He's a well-spoken. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I totally agree. Rainey is yeah. one of the best minds in paintball. Uh, he's he's been you know at the top of the game for a very long time. Been a teammate of mine in the past. You know, somebody that I definitely admire and, and look to kind of steal some things in, from in paintball. You know, um, and having him as a coach certainly helps. And he comes out to a lot of practices with you guys too, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah he's, he's very integrated with the team, and that's something that I personally really loved about you know playing with Scarios and you know just joining the team. It's yeah. Just having him super integrated and friends with all of us. You know? Yeah. On off the field, hanging out together. On the field and off the field, so. yeah. it makes a big difference, right? When you have a good connection with the coach, that that really uh, goes a long way. You know, you got to build the trust there. So, any uh, teams or coaches that are listening to this understand how important it is to build a, a relationship with your players. You yeah, know? and then it also like it makes you want to win for him. Absolutely, like you play harder for that guy Absolutely. because you're friends with him. You don't hate the coach yeah. or hate the org, and you don't totally. want to try. It's a very important thing. Yeah. That's something I learned from you know. Mike Hinman and, and Shane Pistana as a young kid, like the players wanted to play for these guys. You know, you really wanted to go out and do your best for them because they cared about you so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, you know, that's a, a great piece of advice for any coaches that are listening, any players that are listening. Like, try to build good relationships off the field because they absolutely carry over on the field. When you're in those big moments, you know, you're deep into Sunday or out here at the, the finals or on Saturday for the higher divisions. You know, when you're in the, the final rounds, that's the kind of extra stuff that you know you will give you an edge over your team, or your competition, right? So can't stress that enough. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, boys, thank you very much for joining us for a quick little segment on PTG. Yeah. Pleasure. Absolutely. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, go way enjoy. To go. Yeah, let's, let's go. Go. Go, go enjoy. Have some fun. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the podium. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks, Peace. guys. Have a good one.
All right, everybody, we are here with the Premier Division MVP. Uh, you guys just won. Shout out to the, my boy Royce uh, from Regime. You guys took down the Narcos earlier today. My boy Ben plays on them. Um, but you guys had a phenomenal weekend. I got to watch quite a few of your matches, and um, you played pretty stellar. Talk to me about uh, the event. Talk to me about WC. Uh, well, we love the WC. Yeah. I mean, it's the best field. It's the best refing. I mean, you can't beat the pricing. The fact that everybody's just the same paint, you know, goes a long way because it's kind yeah. of an equalizer too. Yeah. You know, and just, I don't know, WC is like, it's so consistent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, uh, you know, Mike's done a great job, obviously. The venue here is really, really vibrant. There's a lot of people. You have a lot of vendors, a lot of players. I think he said there's like eight or 900 actual people here, crazy. which is crazy for a regional league. And you're an OG. You've been around the game for a long time. Uh, played on Team USA, veterans as well. Uh, Royce has been been around the block, but um, talk to me about divisional paintball, right? And and the Premier Division uh, specifically is really competitive. It's crazy to see pro players, pro coaches, scouts, pit crews. Is it? I don't know. But we're a little outclassed because we don't have any of that. Yeah. But the guys that I play with are so positive. They're all old pros. They're all old. Period. <laughs> and it, it, it's it's unbelievable because the guys I play with they don't even play paintball. They play paintball four times a year, and that's it. That's these four events. Yeah. They just understand the game. They understand yeah. situational paintball, and they're so positive. And they have productive conversations, like you guys were talking about in your last podcast. Productive conversations in yeah. the pit, like it just makes all the difference, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah, positivity was like one of our biggest weapons for sure. Uh, positivity goes a long way. We were talking about that with the D3 champs, actually, um, from the Sicarios. We had Cyrus and Grayson on on just a little bit ago. And they were talking about Rainy bringing that to them, bringing, you know, connectivity and belief in one another and, and positivity, right? That really does go a long way. Oh, yeah. You know, your, your uh, um, consistency and your ability on the field starts off the field. Absolutely. You know, you have to be a, a tight unit off the field. Uh, you guys have been together for quite a while now. Um, how long have you played with Regime? What, eight seasons. Eight seasons. Seven. I can't remember. I started when they were when they were still playing D three and at Victory. Okay. And then we just we went Division two and then Premier and been here ever since. So. Yeah. Let's uh let the listeners know a little bit about your history in, in the game. How'd you get started? And you know, let's talk about your path a little bit. Uh, I'm from Maui. Um, probably one of the only guys from Maui that plays on Oahu. Um, with the rest of Hawaiian Heat, and Hawaiian Heat has seen their day. Uh, we climbed the ranks. We played from NPPL days, um, some APL, um, and then we played some NXL. Um, at, at the height of Hawaiian Heat, it was semi-pro, and we finished like fifth in the road, which is pretty amazing. I mean, we got beat by Aftermath and Mutiny, but those guys eventually went pro. So right. we had our heads high, and a lot, a lot of these guys from that semi-pro team still play, um, except we're playing divisional now, except for GJ, of course, you know. Uh, what can you say about GJ? That's phenomenal, right? Absolutely. So I get to play alongside that guy. He's the one that recruited me to play with Regime, in fact, because okay. we've been on Hawaiian Heat together for so many years. So uh, he gave me a shot at Regime, and I don't know, I guess I just got lucky to start my spot and been here ever since. So I'm only playing WCs now. I played an NXL kind of here and there. The last NXL I played, like, we won D2 at World Cup, but I was playing with Gray Area. Yeah, they don't uh, My boy Ryan Podesta, shout out. Gunfighter Ryan Podesta, I love you, bro. Uh, Ryan's the man. Ryan is yeah, the man. he's another one of the OGs. Yeah. I got to play with him for a season uh, back in 2012. We played seven man together on a team called Explicit. So, Explicit. yeah, I learned about the OG. I was a young kid. I was probably a, a, a brat to him, you know, back then. But we're boys now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he. Uh, what what went on with him? Because he used to play with the guys. He, I noticed he wasn't yep. screwed up this event. Um, it was a little bit different. We kind of had a lot of guys. You know, the conversation was a little bit tough. Um, but, you know, with the core regime guys that was together for so long, um, they just decided to go back to that. Okay. You know? yeah. um, and then, I mean, I don't really know. I know. Who knows? I, there was a lot of forces of nature that happened this event. You know, and this layout was really our type of layout. Because we have, like, some really serious, like, good mid attackers. The Doritos played a little slow, and our Snake Eyes could match any other team's Snake Eyes. So, I mean, it just fell in our favor, right? It's all about the layout. The layout really does have a lot to do with uh, t a team's success, right? And actually, that's the really cool thing about our sport, is that each tournament, the layout is different. So, you know, the better you get, the more experience you get, then layouts start to matter less and less, because you find ways to figure them out. Um, and I, I think, you know, again, you have a team full of veterans and experienced players. So, you know, I had to coach against you guys for the last couple of seasons. You know, you sent us packing on Sunday, too. And uh, you guys are, are always a really tough game. 
you know, it's our, our young kids would watch and be like, oh, it's going to be an easy game, you know? And I'm like, stop it. These guys, their mind works really good, okay? I promise you, stop that mindset, you know? And then sure enough, you send us home the first game. I'm like, I told you guys, you know? Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, a beautiful thing about this game, too, is that, as you said earlier, you know, older, older people can still be really good at the game because it's all about how you're processing oh, information. Yeah, hey, I'm one of the older guys. I'm working my way into that division, right? So I'm only a few years out of the veterans. Another another seven, I think. And then I, we'll be teammates over there. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but, you know, like I was saying, that's a really unique thing about our sport, right? Is it's about how smart you play, mm -hmm. right? And that's the difference maker. Um, and uh, I don't really know any other sport that's like that, you know, in, in football or basketball. Once you lose a little bit of speed, you're kind of obsolete, you know. Unless you play the quarterback position, you, you see it. But in paintball, it's almost like every player is like a quarterback. They have to think like a quarterback. Um, so, you know, it is unique. That's what makes it so fun, you know. Um, so, I actually had this conversation with a friend the other day because it makes total sense and compared to all the other sports out there. You go to play football, it doesn't matter where you go, it's still 50 yards by 100 yards. Yeah. You go to play on the soccer field, it's the same soccer size, the field, the basketball court, the rim is still 10 feet. You know, yeah. The same size, every other sport, of ice hockey, it's all the same rings, but for the sport that we play, every event is a different layout. Yes. So that is, that right there is the complete game changer. On top yeah. of that, you know, what we play is like, it's a complete game of trust, and you, you know, they need a different level of trust for a week. For sure. Yeah, yeah I totally agree. Um, and, and, you know, there's conversation about, like, what if we had the same layout for a year or forever? I think that'd be terrible. That would suck. I, I, I think it is one of the most unique things about our sport that we do change the field every event. And whether it's blind layout or you have time to practice on it, there's like a new story that develops you know on each field and like that is such a cool thing for me you know I, I think that telling that story would do a really good job of highlighting our game you know it's a unique thing 100 so uh let's compare the premier division we've been talking about this with the players premier division to the nxl where would you say it matches up premier semi bro i think so yeah sure. if not if not harder yeah i agree um again you know spending time coaching and watching premier for many years i agree i think the premier division is the most competitive uh divisional um that there is in the country pro. yeah correct yeah uh so huge accomplishment again congratulations um what are your guys plans the rest of the season do you think you're going to be uh playing any nxls or it be all wc's nah. Nah. Okay. WC, is where, WC is where it's at. That's the fun stuff. You know what I mean, yeah, I mean, we we love all the teams that we play against. It's yeah. Like, all the teams, it's different here. I don't know if it's a West Coast thing or whatever, but all the teams that play in WC are just way more respectful. Yeah. And everybody here just, like, loves the game, and they're just building each other up, win or lose. And Excel's a little bit different, because, like, people hate each other over there, you know? Like, I don't like that feeling. Like, a little more rivalry. Yeah, whatever. When you lose, you lose, you yeah. know? But don't, like, they just... It's different, man. I hear you, dude. Yeah, we, we walk around these events, and Mike does a really great job. The WC for a long time has been one of the best uh, leagues in the nation, I think. You know, uh, it rivals the NXL, you know, on a smaller level. It's a great experience for divisional players. I heard he's like, considering or is offering free three-man for people to, to like get new players in, which is amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah fantastic league. Look, I know you want to go celebrate with your team. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. We just uh, give a shout awesome. out. Hey, yes. shout out to my boys in Hawaii. Yo, I love you. Yo, we play every weekend. Hawaiian Homegrown, um, Red Rum, uh, AMU, Hawaiian Heat for sure. Uh, Hawaii Extreme Paintball, thank you for everything. Uh, just being able to play against you guys every day is why I'm sitting in this chair right now. Um, I appreciate you. I love you. Aloha. I'll see you soon. Hawaii is one of the best places in the world, by the way. Love it. All right, brother. Thank you. What is going on everybody? Tyler Harmon here. We're at the WCPPL. We got, just so I don't slaughter the pronunciation, okay. let's uh, let's talk about your company and everything that you're doing Thanks out here. Thanks so much. My name is Arn Amanes. I'm a personal injury attorney from Amanes Law. I'm out here at Dub C. Just do a little giveaway, Lux Idol giveaway. Yes, yes. We just gave me. away the brand new Lux Idol. Who was the winner? Who was the lucky It was winner? actually a walk-on. No way. Yeah, he was, he was shooting the tip. Shut me. up. He was, yeah. he was shooting the tip. Me. Yeah. The walk-on. And he came on. I was like, dude, this is a perfect opportunity to get into speed bump. So I hope, I hope it pushes him to get into speed bump. That's amazing. Yeah. And he was a younger player? Yeah. Like 16, 17. Oh, no, not 16. Because he had to be 18. Probably like yeah. 19, 20. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's tremendous. And then kind of highlight what it is that your company is doing and, and how did you get involved in paintball? Great. So I started playing paintball 
saw at Conquest at 2004 burnt down and uh, been a big fan of you, Marcelo, you, and um, just kind of got into the speedball game recently, about a few years ago, with SoCal yeah. Paintball Boys and, and the Vibe Guys, Okay. and uh, just kind of been enjoying it, man. I love the competition. I feel like I always wanted to be a sports guy growing up, and yeah. uh, my dad didn't let me be a basketball player, so. <laughs> well, paintball is perfect because, yeah. like, it's just one of the greatest games in the world for so many reasons, you know? Athleticism, obviously, getting to work out mentally, community. There's so many benefits to this yes. game. And the fact that you, you know, decided to take the company that you built and bring it into paintball and help paintball players, that's tremendous. Man. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. it. I, appreciate it. I, love, I love the community here and I love giving back to the community. As yes. Much as I can. Yeah, talk to us about the WCPPL and everything that they're doing at these tournaments and how amazing it is. So, Dub C for, for me has been kind of the mecca in, in, in the West Coast in attending events and, and uh, just kind of the competitiveness. I remember there, we have other local events, but WCPPL has been the, the, the event that everybody prepares for. Yeah. So it's, it's, I've seen it getting bigger. Uh, uh, I think booths uh, were almost out the door. We couldn't fit any more booths. Yeah. So it's definitely growing and I couldn't be happier for, for the league and Mike. Absolutely. Yeah, shout out to Mike. Shout out to everybody that supports the WCPPL. Shout out to the Baller Life, our Baller, baller life, life, bro. Come on, get on in here. There he is. And you know this, baller man. Life. Let's go, baby. And we got, we got the uh, Hibachi, the, Pops Hibachi. We got Poppy's Hibachi right yes, next sir. door. We got Delicious. Pops Tacos. Delicious. We got the best community in paintball out here. So if you get a chance, head on out to Dub C. And thank you, brother, thank for you, everything. Man. Thank you, brother. Yes, appreciate it. Play the game. Let's go, baby. <laughs> what up, everybody? We got the Rain Man. Rainy up in the house. How's it going out here, Rainy? Good, dude. I love yeah. coming to these things. These things yeah. are a blast, man. Dub C is booming. We got Poppy's Hibachi right next door. They're cooking it up. He's whipping it. He's whipping it up over here. Yep, that's me. He's cooking my food right now. Wait <laughs> yeah. on it. Yeah. And uh, the Dub C is hammering away. Ticket, the, winning, the, the winning, the winning ticket. ticket. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're having fun. Talk to us about what you've been doing out here and who you've been working with. I'm working with Sicarios. We've been, uh, it's been like a man, a two, three year project. Uh, yeah. Bumped up from D4 to D3 last year. And it was like, I, I told them like, we're not gonna win. We're, we're, like honestly, we're not ready. And then last year, about third event in, we made some changes. We picked up a guy from Paintball Fit. Yep. Actually he was from Dynamics. Now he's on Paintball Fit, Cyrus. Yeah. And we, it's kind of just kind of started turning the page. And then we got a first and the third event and we got a second and I was like, we're on to something here. Yeah. And then we won uh, D3 this weekend. So what was it that you felt clicked with your players that got you that first and that second and started getting the traction going? You know, we just started solving one variable at a time, one player. So we got Tucker, he was on the Greedos. We bought in, brought in Cyrus, right? Those yeah. two guys, like they understood, they were like rock, they are our foundation. And then we were missing two of our core guys. The third event, we had those two guys in. The guys that were coming off the bench, like they played that six man role, they weren't like, their egos weren't hurt to come off the bench. Yes. That guy came in for up a point with 30 seconds to go, right? The OT yeah. point, he came in and risked it to the corner. Like, yeah. so he he bought in, instead of coming off the gate trying to overplay to earn his play time, he just, everyone bought in and then it was just this pretty thing. And I, I told him, I was like, we can win one nothing. Like you can yeah, win yeah. paintball games one nothing. <laughs> yeah. And we won the finals and our first win was one nothing. No way. Right? Yeah. And, and they didn't they didn't make mistakes. Now yeah. we kind of added on more layers. When yesterday we were risking two to the snake off the break in the OT. That's how you won the overtime. Yes. Twin sneezies. Yes. Two off the break to the snake. You know, okay, hey, <laughs> one guy in the snake, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Two guys, you got better chances, right? <laughs> At practice, we ran a five sneezy with Houston Heat and it worked phenomenally. Oh, this, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that other layout we were yeah. playing. We tried to do it on the Dorito side and it didn't yeah. work. We did snake side where the Dorito side, no, no, no. Yep. So, and you guys practice really hard too. The guys are bought in, they care about the process, they're really working hard, and I know that you're out there all the time working with them. Yeah, so we yeah. practice a bunch. Last weekend, we actually, we practiced so much that we came out here on Saturday and it was raining. I was like, dude, let's let's go watch a movie, man. This, I saw that, yeah. It's miserable, and I was like looking at my guys and they were gonna play, and I was like, let's go eat, and we'll come back, and they're all starting to get out. I'm like, no, 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 get back in the cars. I walked around, checked it out, I was like, Nah, we're it done. Was we're gonna go eat. That's yeah. not my thing. I'm like, look, if we're gonna go watch a movie, let's do it together. We're gonna yeah. go do something stupid, let's do it together. Well, there's what something we to do? that. Do it together. There's something to that, yeah. Yes. That, that even, you get to hang out, you learn about each other, you learn different nuances about each other that do translate into paintball. Yes, 100%. Yeah, so absolutely. now we got our D4 team who is three and one. We lost the last game, but we're, we're on. We got the buys. So they're go. playing good. Yeah. And there's a bunch of killers. I mean, we got a 15, we got a 15 year old, a 14 year old, and another. What are their names? 
We got, we got, we got Lucas, who's 14. We got yeah. Liam, and we got Paulo. Let's and, go, And boys. then we got, we got some core guys that have been around, Alex, and Archie's a new guy. But these are grown dudes. So I was like, hey, man, you guys are the grown men. We got the children. Keep an eye on them. Protect these dudes. But, yeah. dude, they're fearless. These kids, like... I'm impressed for how eat like calm and cool and willing they are to get shot up and they're like it doesn't bother whereas like yeah. I was a kid I'd kind of be like ah! you know I was like I mean, I'm gonna hide no, the back. Man, this no. guy's an animal he never, never when I when yeah. I now as yeah. a kid I would be the kid that literally would break the paintball I'm, like, oh, I'm out I don't want it I don't want it we're doing drills I'm like that means I gotta get shot nah we're not doing drills today I'm hiding come on what have you been doing in the parking lot like, I don't want to get shot. We're gonna get shot in the hand. It's a guarantee. Oh, those those close quarter drills that we would do when we were younger, and yeah. we still do them. But man, we would do the spool drill. Yeah, spool drill. The spool yeah. drill. Shout out to March. He's yeah, whipping it up. Go. He's holding down let's the go. booth right still now. Still haven't called the winning number. You're That's gonna right. get his food. It's right. I'm gonna get his. Food. He's yeah. taking his food. <laughs> oh man. So, you gotta keep him occupied over here. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Don't worry about him. But man, these events are great. Like, dude, you got like the best food. You got pop tacos. You got hibachi. Yeah, right? yeah. You got him and running it, dude. I'm thinking about. Day. Let's I've, talk about Mike. Dude, yeah. I've known Mike for a quarter of a century. Yeah. Okay. He's been all into paintball. He's dedicated his whole life, dude. And like, so SoCal paintball has gone in waves. Like, we were the Mecca, then we started dying down. And like, having this league yeah. is what makes SoCal the Mecca, right? It has, all, it brings everyone in. He cares so much about his product, right? Yeah. He cares about the reps. He cares about the food. He cares about his customers. He right. puts so much into it. And, and it's just like, you come to these events, it's like a special thing, you know? So you want to give it your all when you come to these things. And it's booming. The dub C is booming. The vendors, alley is booming paintball players the cars are parked out as far as the eye can see so people are really enjoying the paintball down here and i know you guys have been working hard speaking of working hard i know that we're coming into the next event of the season out there in texas yep and you're going to be rolling with damage yep and you guys are training for that so what is that looking like you know it, 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 that's the good thing about coming to these events i learn things here Absolutely. to bring to my team like i'm like how can i be a better player and i see things differently and like I picked up a few things that I'm already like coming in for that first weekend. Yeah. I'm not gonna say what they are. Yeah, of, course, of course. But I got like and they're little they're just little tidbit things about just being a better team player and like making yeah. the process more fun. And you know, at the end of the day, this is the game. Yeah. And I think sometimes you and myself, it's like life or death. Yeah, I can see yeah. it in your eyes after we lose, you're like you're like you're yeah. questioning anything, but it's like sometimes it's this game's like a Chinese finger trap. The harder you pull, the harder yeah. the harder you try, the harder it is. Yeah. Sometimes you just kinda of gotta let go. And do it don't, don't try so hard. Yeah. Right? Okay. We're gonna pray, we're gonna train, we're gonna do all these things. But sometimes trying less hard makes it easier. It's there, like yin there, and yang, right? There is something to be said about that. Yeah, you can't force things. You can't force things to happen. Um, you can prepare and you can be the best version of yourself and bring your, your best quality version. But at the end of the day, the universe is perfect. It doesn't miss. It's going to do what it's going to do. And you have to align yourself with the win. And you can feel it when the mojo starts going, when the team is in a flow and everything is rolling. And, and you know, that's when it's, it's effortlessly. But then yeah. sometimes you're, 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 you're over trying. You're like, Tyler, what are you doing? And the dog's like, man, I'm worried about this dude. And it's just like, that ain't no, gonna work. That's absolutely. not gonna work. So no, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Dub C's been cranking. Hopefully you guys dominate and we'll yep. see you guys back over here for some wins. Thank you. And Rainy, thank you for everything that you're doing, brother. Appreciate being yeah. on here. Let's go. Peace. What up everybody? We got Chad Yeah Yeah Boucher in the house. Let's go. What's going on, Chad? Bro, How you living? We are out here popping WCPL. I'm out here running this HK booth like it's no I can, I know I'm not like a rookie at running a booth. Okay, I'm a rookie. Hey, you like the D3? Booth. Like D3 right now? I wouldn't even line. give myself that. <laughs> that guy behind us. I uh, know we're out here at WCPL loving it. There's so many teams, you know, HK, yeah. they haven't been out here in a little while coming out here. Uh, you know, we're dropping our we dropped our new tank. You know, you got one yes, in Vegas. The Alpha Air. Yeah. Popping. It is real deal everybody thought it was a hoax that we you know we're just putting that out there and uh you know they're seeing it they pick it up and i think we should have named it the oh shit tank because that's like the biggest thing i've heard yet so <laughs> every time out. they pick it up oh yeah. shit yeah yeah, yeah yeah i like it a lot so it works out that's so. amazing and yes it's so good to see hk army out here at the dub seat the wcppl is popping off there's cars as far as the eye can see yeah lots of teams out here here's what i like the most too. like i walk down this row and i call it like memory lane but like you got you and you and marcelo out here you know we got sam at the dlx booth yeah we got todd out there and then you got you got al fernandez and then all of a sudden i see like spica and mouse and i mean got the 
everybody. Yeah, the boys, and yeah. it's like, you think about it, and it's like, these guys are out here grinding in the field, and then they're out here at work in the booth and everything else, and it's like, for, for people who like look for things like that, like, think about things like that, you know? That's and, right. Uh, it's, it's sweet, so it's it works out. We're super excited. We're covering all the divisional paintball out here, so we have, like, all the winners from the divisional tournament oh, are dude, coming that's, in. That's money, dude. And they're coming in, they're, and they're like, we won, we get to go on PTG. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That's so honestly, that's high. just like winning the Super Bowl and coming to ESPN <laughs> right there, so. So we're having a lot of fun, and let's talk about what you've been doing for the company. You just recently yes. joined forces with HK in a major yeah. way, so let's hype that up. Uh, you know, January 2nd, they brought me on and uh, with the sponsorship coordination, and you know, it's honestly been a blessing just because I get to hear a lot of people's stories. You know, and just on the mere fact of like how much like they're going through and different things like that. But uh, you know, the biggest thing too is like, you know, we're hooking people up. You know, it's not just like, hey, here's 15% off. Hopefully you'll buy some on our website. You know, we got packages from like lacing you up a head to toe, and then there's contingencies. So, you know, we're taking care of you podium and you get on first and second, third, and then bam, like, you know, we have packages giving people $1,000 back to HK, we're taking care of their paint, different things like that. Yes. And then, uh, biggest thing too, you're sponsored by HK, you know, you're coming to Dallas, you're getting paid for $20 a case. Yep. Uh, we did that in Vegas, we had a huge impact Super on Super successful. It. And, um, yeah. you know, it was, it was nice and uh, people got to see how good the paint was and, you know, I was very happy with it and then, you know, we're gonna roll right into Texas. Yes, sir. Yeah, that bright pink shell was flying. We loved it. Shout out to HK and all the work that they're putting into the paintball and everything that they do for the paintball community you know, oh, dude, it's unbelievable going always going above and beyond to give back and just highlight paintball players and that's Absolutely. why i love that they brought you on board oh, dude, i love it it's a perfect fit i love it i love it it's, yeah. it's a blessing and i love it so those guys put a lot of work in and you know if they wouldn't have done that stuff i wouldn't even have a job right now so i couldn't feel more blessed to be a part of the team so they're the best out. shout out to hk and doug c is crushing it there's like over 90 teams out yeah. here i think so you know uh, mike Hammond has done a good job by bringing southern california you know this great product of a tournament these dudes like yesterday they just won like literally a thousand dollars less than what the pro division put in yeah. and that's big right like for them to have that and you know they're, they're seeing the money back um you know uh hk actually this is like, we need to be a part of this even more you know we need to get even bigger with this and yeah. uh, you know mikey was very very generous to us and you know very like, open arms bringing us out here uh we were actually in dallas uh, two weeks ago that was awesome he had 90 some teams out there that's right that's big yeah that's the usxbl big. was yep. very successful too yep. and uh yeah. it's two different breeds that you know it's like i honestly believe you know between texas and california like that right now is the mecca of paintball so if you guys want to play a good yeah. tournament series like you know it's paying out you know it's a lot of opportunity to get noticed those are the two one right there yeah and mike is the man he just lets us all come here and just pop up hang yeah. out yeah. um hk's out here we've got obviously poppy's hibachi next door they're whipping oh, it up I, the first time i got to try this those guys oh my god they hold popping. on let's turn the camera yeah, for a give second a, give a shake, so they can see there they are hey you're on p2g Yo, hey, you well, live. Say something well. cool. Hey. Hey, you got a little, a little we got that, baby. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> tossing it up, dicing so it. They're literally whipping yeah. up some delicious food right next to us. You can see we got Rainy in the back. He was just on recently. He won yesterday with his team. That's right. And they're still in the fight right now, I think, with D4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're yep. still going at it. Yep. But yeah, we can't thank Mike enough for everything that yeah. he's doing for paintball. Yep. And we're just having a lot of fun out hey, here. I'm Dustin. excited. I'm glad I can hang out with you. And then, yeah. uh, like I said, you can see all these pros out here. And, you know, we're locking stuff down as far as future goes. And, you know, these guys are the booze and getting the experience and everything else. So not only is it just playing pro paintball, but it's like going back and giving back to paintball players, too. So well, that, that's exciting. Exactly it. Divisional paintball, whether you're in the NXL, Dub Z, USXBL, it doesn't matter. Divisional paintball is the future, and that's why we're super excited to be Absolutely. on the ground. We get to scout the future players, see who's coming up Dude, in the game. And that's real. You like know? literally, if you want to get noticed, you need to be at one of these events because there's pro coaching out there. Yeah. You know, these sponsors, like like I've seen it where now like kids are getting like privately sponsored because of that. So yeah, so, yeah. true. And then we got Houston Heat practice coming up. I we're, couldn't be more excited. We're rolling into Texas. We're coming we're for Dynasty more than ever. There he is, right back there. We're about you to know we heard that. We're going to spear him. We're going to take him down. But yeah, we're really excited to uh, head out to Texas. We're going to be playing against uh, X Factor, yep. X Impact, yep. Infamous and as well. Infamous. Yep. Yeah, so we'll be rolling At X Factor's Paintball Park, and then uh, you know we're going to get a little hour sesh right before the event with Dynasty as well. So that's right. Uh, our preparation is going to be there, and I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go, baby. So. Yeah. So if you're in the uh, Dallas area for right. uh, when we're out there with X Factor, be sure to go to X Factor Paintball Park and tap in with us. Yeah, yeah. Keep crushing it hey, at the booth. Thanks, baby. Thank you so much for everything. Shout out to HK. Let's go. <laughs> Is this thing on? We're going. It's on. All right. It's on. <laughs> All right, everybody. We got a little action. from the Bean live action. Big <laughs> troublemaker in the Discord. There he is. Hey, him. I've been good since my second time. Uh -huh. All right, since, uh -huh. since my second since since uh, thing. I've been good. You know what, what was mean? it? What's a sentence thing? Sentence thing. Sentence thing. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. It's little, my new teeth. That's why. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Hey, 
You'll get it. You'll get it. Uh, my guy, what are the Baton Rouge Mighty Dolphins? You All guys right. are making waves out here. You guys we got are. the dope jerseys. Everyone's, you know, talking about yeah. Look at this logo. If you there guys are go. listening, you want to check out the YouTube. Us up. The Baton Rouge Mighty Dolphins. Pretty dope logo. All right. So the Mighty Dolphin part, back in 2018 in Dallas, me and a couple of my friends, um, Alex Howell and Dimitri Fairclough from South Carolina, we were at IHOP having breakfast before the ma before uh, third match of the prelims. And we were talking about if dolphins had human rights. I mean, if dolphins could talk English, do we have to give them human rights? And it was like a 35 minute span. X Factor sitting on to our right, they got involved. It was like an argument. Okay. And I'm like, where are we gonna find dolphins at? Baton Rouge? Out of nowhere. So I always told myself, if I ever make a team name again, it's gonna be the Baton Rouge Mighty Dolphins. And I just went with it. Um, I contacted Tim from Dazana. I told him how I want the dolphin to look and all that. And he goes, all right, he sent me a couple templates of it. I'm like, I want number three, let's do this. And that's how, that's how it's going to be. Out. So how many players are from Baton Rouge? None. <laughs> my girlfriend, Have you ever been to Baton Rouge? Yes, my girlfriend lives out there. I'll be okay, moving out there right. this year. Nice. So um, everyone is from NorCal, uh, NorCal Modesto area, um, Sacramento. Shout out to Modesto. Yeah, shout out to Modesto one time. Um, Omaha, Omaha, Florida. So um, practices are not every weekend, but when we do have our schedule for practices, we do make it meaningful and all that. We're there from sun up to sundown. We're pretty much living at the field for a weekend. Okay. So our first practice, our first practice, because we all of us never practiced together. We went two and two this weekend. Um, Missed it by one point to make it for us. So you guys showed up without practicing together As just whole. to compete the, in the tournament. Yeah. Okay, and we went two and two. What division? Uh, D two premier. D two premier. Yep. Two and two, never practicing together. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, premier is an incredibly competitive. It is. Yeah. Um, six six out of the nine, they're from the area, so they got their practice okay. and all that. So we spun them the most because they had the time together. Understandable. But um, our first practice together is. May 24th to 26th weekend. Okay. Um, you got Mother's Day going on. Yep. You got um, two other guys have a camping trip after, the weekend after. So I'm okay. like, all right, I don't want to do a practice when you guys can't be there. Yeah. So how about this weekend? Everyone checked, like, let's do it. So, and that's two weeks before the event. So it'll still be fresh in their minds and yeah. practicing and all yeah. that. Um, we don't know if it's going to be down in here in SoCal or up in NorCal, but if it's down here in SoCal, the owner of this league, Mike Hinman, is actually going to be helping us. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that's cool. huge. Mike, obviously, everybody knows Mike Hinman. Oh, exactly. You know, incredible paintball mind. He uh, has a lot to do with a lot of the top players' yep. success these days. You know, he was definitely one of my uh, mentors and coaches growing up. Somebody He's everybody's dad. Through. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's paintball dad, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, so Mike is, is the man. And actually, I want to talk to you about Mike Hinman and the WCPPL oh, and what you think about this league. Man, I've been – my first – my first W. C was back in 13, 14. Um, took a couple of years off. Uh, WC competed in different leagues, but WC's home. Yeah. Like I'm seeing familiar faces. Shout out to Pops Tacos. Like everyone gets excited to see them. Absolutely. We got the Hibachi guys right here. Though. Bobby Stepanyaki. Yeah. We got Pops. Again, we talk about the food on just about every little segment yeah. we have with the people because. This event is one of the coolest regional events I've ever been to. The it venue is. is completely packed. You know, there's a full line of vendors. There's tons of players. Uh, it's really amazing what Mike has done. It's 125 teams, I think, something like that. And yeah. From D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, three man, and young guns. Yeah. I think it's 125 teams. Yeah. And that being a regional event, like that's a small national event. Absolutely, it is. And yeah. it, I don't see like I love ASG. This is my first time here. Like I love I love the facility. There's actually real bathrooms. Like, there are, yeah. It's like great. you don't get that. Like <laughs> when stuff. I found out there's a real bathroom because I followed him, and I was like, oh my god, there's toilets. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got super excited. But it's gonna come like two three years. What's gonna happen? I yeah. like this. This league has to go somewhere bigger. 
Yes and no. I think Mike really enjoys the divisional side of things. And it's he great. And it's so important for paintball, too, to have – you've got the NXL, which is the national level league, right. right? That's where the professionals play. I don't know that Mike even wants to quite compete with that, right? Because we need a really good, you know, set of divisional regionals that feed into that, right? That makes more, sense. You know, the more divisional players that are playing and excited about their local leagues and don't have to travel cross-country – the better right? right we want a bunch of healthy regional leagues across the nation and so you know mike taking on the usxbl as well is huge because he runs such a good event so now we're going to have you know the southwest region we have you know texas we got that area it's going to be solid and absolutely solidified with good divisional paintball um you know and so uh, if we could just get a, another couple leagues and there are really good leagues you know i know the mbps is is highly right down in florida. Out in florida the msxl is a good league up in you know the midwest area right. you know ops is, is a great little OPS side league. of um connecticut area yep, yep, yeah exactly so you know divisional paintball is doing really really good and that's really important for the sport you know yeah um i'm gonna i'm gonna say this right now um the Mighty Dolphins are looking at putting a D4, D3 X-Ball team in the USXPL. So anybody's listening to this or watching this on the YouTube, if you guys are interested, please hit up our um, IG, uh, Baton Rouge Mighty Dolphins, send a message, and we will get to you. Um, awesome. We will tell you what we expect as a player, and we'll tell you what you can expect from us. That's about it. Very cool, um, man. We really have a really – we're doing it for the culture. Um Russell Kane, one of the excessive boys that Harmon actually taught, um, comes up to me after our last match against Brawlers, and that was a dog fight, 5-4, it, it, it was a dog fight, comes up to me, gives me a hug, and he's like, you're saving NorCal paintball because we, we don't got anything up there. No one's competing wow. from up there. Yeah. And I'm from Texas. I'm like, how am I helping NorCal? Like, how am I? Why isn't SoCal even helping NorCal? How is Texas? Um, SoCal and NorCal are like two different states. Everybody knows yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Know, hella separated. That's two different worlds. Hella separated. separated. Right, right over the grapevine. <laughs> that grapevine cuts it off. Yeah. But I love my boys. I yeah. do. They're all, ba they're all back home. Um, Andrew Collins right now as we speak. He's in the air right now from Ontario Airport heading back to Philly. Okay. So, yeah, like, my, my, my boys, like, they're my pod, right? That's yeah. what they call a bunch of dolphins. Yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah. the pod. <laughs> I like it. But I'm, I'm, love, I'm loving the love we're getting from WC. Um, I'm taking, I, was, I took photos with kids and their parents and all that because they see a dolphin. And it, like I it, said, the logo's badass. The logo right? goes super hard. That's a cool um, logo. Very the store, marketable. The store, exactly. And, and anyone that's watching or listening to this, and you have a divisional team, you got to ask yourself, what does my team stand for? If you can't answer that, then you're not marketable. you got to have a culture. Exactly. Right? Yeah, you need to be marketable if you want to be able to get some sort of sponsorships, too. It's and not we just, are. hey, what can you do for me? And, you know, when you're approaching companies, it can't be, what can you guys do for me? It's, what can we do for you guys? Exactly. Right? That's um, the question that you want to answer. Uno's Jerky, Uno Jerky, big love out there. Liquid Lava out of Florida, they, they're helping us, helping us. My friends coming, hotel and trucking, and so, my ho hoteling sons and trucking out of, um, where are they out of now, Florida. Um, good friend of mine, they're, they're sponsor. We're getting outside paintball sponsorships. They're looking into paintball. Awesome. And they're all watching the webcast. They're lo like, the commentary is like loving us and all that. Like, But we're not just out here as a publicity stuff. We're out here to compete. And we we competed. We missed it by a point. Yeah, just in two. Just, yeah, you guys get a practice together, and you know you have an event. Under that, your belt, that, yeah, yeah. that little crank on right. the wrench, and right. we'll be good to go for the second event. Um, the paint, the paint was shooting good. It, it, I'll be honest, it was shooting good when it was nice out on Friday, but in that morning, it was miserable out here. It was cold. It was freezing. It was um, like in the 30s yeah, out here. Yeah. When I got out here at 5:45, it was. 37 degrees yeah and sure. paint management has become super important it's like you can put paint on ice but how do you heat up your paint like you turn the van on turn the turn the truck right. on open the bags put the heater on and you let it sit for a little bit yeah. you know that's you know it's a it's a it's a it's annoying it's a pain in the butt but we've done it many do times it. you got to do what you got to do yeah yeah but we don't get weather like that usually out here in california so hopefully yeah. we never see that again yeah. all right not in april yeah but Marcel, what you're doing for the culture, you and Harmon, like this is incredible. Like love you, you guys. We love you, bro. We, yeah, we, we love you all of you. Here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. But I, I love what you guys are doing. Um, 
I'm loving the outside paintball um, guests you guys are having. Thank you know you. what I mean? That's looking into the sport. Like, yep. Um, the coaches, yep. um, Mike Bianca, still, still one, great. still one of my favorite episodes, yeah. right? Yeah. Everyone um, says that. If you guys have not listened to the Mike Bianca episode, go back. Make sure you listen, please. download that, and uh, bring out a notepad while you're listening. To oh that my one god! Too. Straight up, take notes on that one. You I'm, know, I'm, I'm sitting there learning. You know, Mike I'm halfway right now, and I'm actually doing that right. Yeah. Like, Mike has such a beautiful mind in the sport and just in life in general. Yeah. You can learn off of absolutely, and it's like. I, I never want to see that man mad. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd be scared if I saw him mad. Like, but he but he's one of those people that we need in the sport. Agreed. Like, there's a lot of people that we need that we know of, but we don't know about. We know of him, but we don't know him. And I think that episode really showed who he is as a person. Yeah. And it's just gonna make the hurricane stronger and better. And hopefully they take down the dragons. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Slay the dragon. <laughs> hey. I might get Slay the Dragon tattooed on me, you know? Um, I hope I hope you do. I hope you do, Mars. But man, like, it's a pleasure to have been on here and all that. Yeah. Like, Thank you, Joey. Shout out to Stevie. I'm not going to prison. All right. Like, we're PTG good. prison. Yeah, that PTG, is. We're talking yeah. about the Discord. Yeah. We got, like, you know, sometimes I'm people on the up. Discord act up. We got to give them, <laughs> we got to slap the orange tag on them, put them in PTG jail. We don't let them, you know, communicate with the rest for a little while. <laughs> I'm banned. Georgie, for Georgie's been there a few times. Well, two times. Yeah. Two times. Um, um, shout out to my lawyer. <laughs> Maggie. Yeah. yeah. Where are you at, Mags? Georgie. But, Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Shout out to uh, Baton Rouge Mighty yeah, Dolphins. George. Hey, shout out to the Baton Rouge Dolphins. Let's go. Mighty Dolphins. Yeah, the <laughs> Mighty Dolphins in the house. Oh, yeah, Mighty Ducks. Yeah. I want to give a, let, let me go. let me just give a huge thank you to all our sponsors. Um, Mike Kimmins helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will never be late for dinner ever again. <laughs> um, you're still getting get, getting on me on that. I don't know. You didn't warn me about Mike Kimmins dinner. Like you better be there on time. I mean, the fact that you didn't know that and you know Mike is your fault, not mine. <laughs> like you know Mike, and you think you could show up late? Can can <laughs> someone back me up? <laughs> but, Absolutely no, not. But shout you out to know Mike. <laughs> shout out to WC, Dazana, Hotel and Sons and Trucking, Uno Jerky. Shout out to uh, Liquid Lava. If you don't know Liquid Lava, they're a um, it's a drink um, like CBD and all that. They're out of Florida. They're getting their names up. Um, they're, I can't do it because I'm in the trucking business, but my players, they've been helping them and all that. So I just shout out to everybody that's supporting us. Please hit us on favorite. Please hit us with a like and a favorite on our IG. We already did a 100 um, follower giveaway. We gave a free t-shirt. At the 500, we're giving away a jersey. At a thousand, where whoever wins the thousand, we are sending him out for a practice with us, so he can play with us. Or if we have a, like a mech tournament going on, we'll we're putting him on a roster and he can play with us. All right. So yeah, so good. it's all about the culture and helping out the little guys to be the bigger fish. Love that. The so, bigger fish. Exactly. That's <laughs> a good one. All right, brother Georgia. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Just had to let little Georgie know that uh, dolphins aren't fish. Exactly. They're mammals. <laughs> mammals. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening. If you enjoyed the show, please head over to ptgpaintball.com, click the orange Patreon link in the corner, and support the show. We greatly appreciate it. We have tiers as low as $1.99 a month. That is nothing, guys, and it'll give you access to the Discord where you get access to the players' chat and get to mingle with the entire PTG community. We have tons of different pros in there. Tyler and myself are very active and it's an amazing way to support the show we also have amazing other tiers if you want to be one of the best want to be a goat sign up for the goat tier it's the greatest way to support us and each month we do a private live stream show one-on-one -on -one kind of thing to where it's just the goats and tyler myself will bring in some special guests every now and then but you get to ask us questions in real time live on the air and you get lots of inside juicy news that we don't share uh on the show so as always we will see you guys very soon.